Good morning and thank you for joining me for our time of morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 8. O Lord, our Sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have founded a bulwark because of your foes, to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honour. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands and have put all things under your feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the sea. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Today's canticle is a song of peace. Come, let us go up to the mountain of God, to the house of the God of Jacob, that God may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For the law shall go out from Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. God shall judge between the nations, and shall mediate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O people of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading today is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verse 27. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No. It is for this reason that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. And then a voice came from heaven, I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said, It was thunder. Others said an angel had spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, the light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you will not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. After Jesus has said this, he departed and hid from them. Open my eyes, O Lord that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So let us pray. High and holy God, robed in majesty, Lord of heaven and earth, we pray that you would bring justice, faith, and salvation to all people. And we pray especially for your people here in Sanderstead and in Riddlesdale. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. You chose us in Christ to be your people and to be the temple of your Holy Spirit. We pray that you would fill your church with vision and hope. And especially we pray today, Lord, for St. Mary's, for St. James, and St. Edmund's. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Your Spirit enables us to cry, Abba, Father, and affirms that we are fellow heirs with Christ and pleads for us in our weakness. We pray for all who are in need or distress. And we remember especially today Kim Brown, Alison Brewster, Lord hear us, Lord graciously hear us. In the baptism and birth of Jesus, you have opened heaven to us and enabled us to share in your glory the joy of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit from before the world was made. Lord, may your whole church, living and departed, come to a joyful resurrection in your city of light. And we pray and remember especially Father Richard Broadbury and Phyllis Wharton. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Almighty God, who in the passion of your blessed Son made an instrument of painful death to be for us the means of life and peace, grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer for his sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. And as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen.
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.